Rumors have been swirling all over the internet about her whereabouts. This is the slippery slope of silence when you don't always share your story. The palace is in the depths of a PR crisis. Where is Kate? We haven't seen her in three months. Something fishy is going on and when it finally gets revealed, it is going to be huge, but that's my opinion. Queen Elizabeth lived by the mantra, we have to be seen to be believed. So what happens when one of the royals steps away from public life to recover from a mystery illness? Uh, we were left with a sense of doubt and a sense of being misled. And that's very damaging to the royal brand. For almost two months, Princess Catherine has been recuperating from abdominal surgery at her residence in Windsor. She's only been seen twice outside her home. It was announced she'd be off public duties until after Easter, but in the digital age, the old royal motto of never complain, never explain isn't working. A lot of people don't trust the palace because of Princess Diana and the treatment that she endured. This photo released by Kensington Palace over the weekend only made matters worse. They said it was taken by Prince William about two weeks ago, but it quickly became clear it had been digitally altered, with international photo agencies raising the alarm. In my expert opinion, this photo has been manipulated. So there are a few inconsistencies. The main ones uh, where the sleeve area doesn't match up and there would actually be negative area of grass just in this triangle here. The other one is uh, where the hair doesn't meet up over the shoulder. And there's a funny little zipper area there that doesn't quite, quite look right. Tammy White is a senior photo editor who's worked around the world. I'm quite often given multiple uh, shots of the same image and the client will like their head in one shot and not the other. And I think what's happened here is um, they've got this great shot of all the three kids, they're all smiling and having a great time and maybe Kate was, wasn't smiling or maybe she was looking the wrong way. So I think what she's done is she's chosen a, um, an, a frame from another, another image of the same shoot and she's just dropped it on herself. Online, there was furious debate about whether this image had been generated with AI. Some online sleuths suggest this Vogue photo shoot from 2016 could have been the original source. Look at this, the Vogue magazine cover, and as it blends out, it is the exact same face from this photo. The scandal that's going around that it's from the Vogue cover, uh, that's pretty outlandish. So uh, that's the cover. So I've just quickly dropped it on. You can see there. To actually get rid of the highlight there, to brush that out, to brush out that highlight there, to actually draw the shadow over the eye, that actually requires quite a lot of detail and quite a lot of Photoshop skill that I just don't think Kate has. Another popular theory online is that this image was taken in November last year before they visited an English charity. The clothing on the children and Princess Catherine are similar and some claim the colours have been altered but I do believe that this was photoshopped to be darker and it was just that cream sweater because they don't make it in another color. Look at the neckline on this sweater in this photo. And here she is in a very similar neckline on the same day from the baby bank. Kind of looks to me in this photo like that's the same sweater. They just made it a little bit lighter. So if you're going to change a color, so you can see how much work the edging needs. So all these other theories are really hard to believe. Metadata shows the picture was taken on a Canon 5D and was edited on Photoshop on Friday and Saturday last week. The Princess of Wales issued a rare statement claiming she experiments with editing and apologised for the confusion. Royal historian Cindy McCreary thinks it's unfair for Kate to be singled out. I think what this reflects is perhaps a rather knee-jerk reaction to the incredible pressure that the royal couple was under. There was a lot of pressure on them to release some kind of proof of life. And I think one of the worrying aspects of this uh, press frenzy is the way in which Kate seems to be bearing the entire blame for what I understand is a photograph actually taken by her husband. Catherine's apology didn't answer a key question, why was the photo edited? But it did ignite a whole new wave of online commentary. The edits are so bad, it's almost like it was done on purpose. The media frenzy around the photo overshadowed a key royal event, the annual Commonwealth Day service. King Charles is still receiving cancer treatment, so Prince William and the Queen had to face the public on their own. The buzz online has also fanned the flames of persistent rumours that Prince William is having an affair. Now the topic of late night talk shows. Since 
2019. According to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Aha, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. <laughs> ha ha! PR experts say the situation has gone from bad to worse. It's a bizarre scenario where the, they are this family that are paid for essentially by the public. So they feel like they have entitlement to what is going on. And if they lose the trust of their, the public, I mean, they're in a really sticky situation. In the current climate that we are in, where there's been so much speculation about your whereabouts, Princess of Wales, it's probably not a good idea to put out a manipulated picture. So it's either stupidity or willful ignorance, and I'm not sure which one is worse. The future of Britain's royal family rests with William and Catherine getting this recovery right. And the problem is, when there's a mystery, there's always a bit of distrust. and. That's the last thing the royal family want, with so much going on in the family right now. The best thing they could do is release the original photo. In this instance, the PR team certainly helped them get into this hole. They're as much to blame as William and Catherine themselves. If I were the Prince and Princess of Wales, I'd be hiring a whole new team. <laughs>